Depends on what button you're trying to hit. What are where are motions? Okay. What are, what really are they? Yeah. They're what drive us to make decisions. Well, where do they come from? Are we are they hardwired in us? Do we learn them? What what do we what are all these emotion things? Current like? situations. Do you th do you think we've evolved? We're hardwired for emotions. That's how we survived from cavemen to now. Do you think who's who's yeah. a who's a paleontologist in the group here or an, <laughs> an anthropologist? Excuse me. I think it just comes from when when we grow up. The the what we what the things that we respond to that really put a a, um, a deep a deep sense of like hurt or feeling in in our in our brains so if you're wired for you know something happened before and you see it again you're more likely to uh, go to that situation and or avoid that situation rather, rather than dealing with it so i think yeah. it's like a hardwired system sean emotions are reaction to stimuli and by asking the questions that's how you control the stimuli okay so you mean when i go running in the woods and i come around a corner <laughs> on a wooded trail and I see an 800 pound bull moose with a full rack. What kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? Joy? Fear. 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 Why do I have that fear? Is that survival. good? Survival. Ooh, say that again, please. Survival. Why do I have that survival? What's going on chemically in my body all of, all of a sudden? What's fight or happen? flight. You, yeah. You got that fight or flight. You got the juice that you need now to either run away super fast or to make a decision. Oh, you said another good word, decision. Will I make a very quick decision to go turn around, hide, go for a weapon? Um, will I, I'll have to make a very quick decision, won't I? More of, a, more of a reflex. You won't even think about it. Right. Otherwise, I'm going to be some moose poop or something. The moose, <laughs> are, moose are the wrong animal, but they're, they're very timid. They usually run the other way uh, and stuff like that. But What's my point about that? How does this all relate to selling? People make quick decisions if they're emotionally involved. Ooh, for very, very, they make very fast decisions emotionally. So should we sell with logic or should we sell with emotion? Emotion. How do we sell with emotion? What am I talking? What's that mean? You find out what they need, their, their, their pain or their greed. How can there be emotion in, in real estate? It's real estate. There's no emotion in real estate, right? I'm being Socratic today, guys. So, <laughs> no, is there any emotion in a home? If somebody wants to buy it and they fear that they're going to lose out, a lot of emotion. Oh, you mean scarcity or something like that, or? Of yes. fear or fear of loss. Oh, do you think things like greed, fear, altruism, envy, pride, shame? Do you think these kind of um, um, emotions can can be involved in a real estate transaction, buying, selling, investing? Yes. What did I do with Curl right away? Well, I jumped all over him in that role play. He was going presentation, uh, logical presentation style. What did I force him to do in the first couple of steps? Get you involved emotionally greed. Yeah. What's an invest what's the only thing an investor likes or really listens to in the beginning? Money. 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 Absolutely. Is it our responsibility to control the conversation and and get away from the scripted stuff and get get and maybe ask questions or tell stories that can make somebody emotional? about this financial decision? Yes. Somebody play the cricket sound for me, okay? <laughs> yes. Yes. This is gut selling right away, getting into that emotional thing. So if I, so we're, so somebody, what's the worst thing you can say to, what's the worst thing you can say right away on the phone to somebody, initial phone call? I had someone last week say, ah, hello, Mr. 